Just when we thought the B-Rank Wars were finally over, we still got one more to go. Up, buddy nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 in today's manga nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for World Trigger Chapter 197. So, last chapter, it really seemed like we were done. It really seemed like we were done with the B-Rank Wars. And also, my boy Asamu finally apologized to Chica because he underestimated her. He didn't believe in her. He didn't have faith in her. And I'm glad he apologized to her for that shit. But, man, I thought we were going to be done with the B-Rank Wars. But it looks like this is going to be the final one. So, let's get to this chapter and see what's in store for us this month. And this chapter is titled B-Rank Mid-Tier Final Match. Alright, Daisuke, let's see what you got. Uh... Okay, I guess we're done here. Let's head next door. We're going to check out um, Ayatsuji's play-by-play uh, -play commentating. See you later. Okay. So they're um, doing commentary in two separate rooms, huh? How extravagant. There's a surprisingly large audience. Uh, makes sense, though. Uh, the mid-tier matches this season have been intense. Would it be possible for us to watch the um, match that's happening now from here? We sure can. Give me a second. You interested in that mid-tier match? Yeah. It's my senior sniper's final match! Yay! Um, Sua Squad and uh, Katori Squad have closed the gap. They now have more time to get Captain Nasu in range of their shots. Meanwhile, Nasu Squad's uh, Agent Hiura is tripping up uh, rival squads with her lightning. Oh, and now it seems that we're being joined by audience members from the top tier hall. So how about a quick recap of what we've seen in this match so far? Um... On commentary this time is Agent uh, Murakami, the number four solo attacker and ace of Sus um, Susanari 1. Good to be here. Uh, and this is Captain Nasu's cousin and Agent Hiura's mentor, uh, Narasaka of Miwa Squad. Hey! Nasu's, uh, Nasu Squad chose Cityscape C as the map this round. It's arranged uh, like uh, um, a giant staircase and notable for its uh, vertical landscape. Uh, were, were they hoping to give uh, their own sniper the advantage here? However, in the warp, um, in the warp and points, uh, put not, oh my god. However, in the warp and points put, uh, Nasu Squad at an immediate disadvantage. Katori Squad managed to climb, uh, oh my god, what is, what is wrong with me? Uh, Katori Squad managed to claim the upper levels right at the start. It seemed, it seemed as if, uh, Katori Squad would, uh, use the high ground to push back, but Captain Nasu's Viper struck back at Katori Squad, disregarding any obstacles in the way. These squads representative uh, warnings, oh my god, what is wrong with me? These squads' respective uh, ranges are quite quite different, so even with the high ground, Katori Squad ended up on the defensive. Captain Nasu's shooting um, draws on the uh, true potential of Viper. Buildings and obstacles typically get in the way of ranged weapons, but Captain Nasu uses them to her own advantage. But um, By linking up with her operator, she managed to study the map and move accordingly. But then, uh, despite taking up Taking wait, but then despite taking so long to meet up, Sua Squad uh, swooped in to attack Nasu, atta um, attack Nasu Squad from the side. Agent Kamagi managed to def um, uh, wait. Agent Kamagi moved in uh, to defend, but took some real damage. And with that, uh, the match turned into a three-way standoff for a while. They all kept their distance, resulting in a total deadlock. It was Sua Squad um, who shattered the balance. Agent Sas uh, Sasamori switched back and forth between Bagworm and Chameleon for a sneak attack on Nasu Squad. Agent Kamagi sensed him coming, uh, coming, struck back, and they took each other out. And then both squads moved in on the weakened Nasu Squad. Or so it seemed. That's when some shotgun blast from Sua Squad tore a hole or two into Katori squad, uh, Squad's flank. Agent Miura succeeded in shielding his allies, but took huge damage himself, forcing him to bail out from a uh, Tryon loss. It was one of Sua's classic feints. Everyone thought Nasu Squad was the only target. Each squad um, has now lost one agent, and Sua Squad is in the lead with two points. You might say that Captain Sua is in control of this match. Now that the top tier uh, match is over, let's check uh, check out the overall score. With Yuba Squad um, at number 7 and um, 30 points total, the requirement to break into top tier uh, is a total of 31 points. If we add the points gathered in the, uh, this match so so far, the total uh, so far to the total, Sua Squad is at um, 28, while Katori and Nasu Squad uh, have 27 each. If one of these teams hopes to make it into the top tier, those survival points at the end are a huge factor. Anyhow, this match is once again a three-way slugfest, except that every squad has lost its shield. Uh-oh. 
Yeah, yeah, it, it's an all offensive shit going on up in here. All offensive affair going up in here. Um, there's a chance it could all come back. Uh, wait, there's a chance it, uh, it could all come to an explosive end in an instant. Ah, uh, here we go. Let's see what Hiura's gonna do. Ooh, Nasu Squad's um, Agent Hiura snipes again. She's swapping triggers to and trying to crack enemy shields. It's hard for the other squads to switch to full attack mode as long as Agent um, uh, Hiura is out there sniping at them. Captain Sua's ex uh, explosive offense is basically kept in check. If he has to dedicate resources and attention to defense, this terrain means that any sniping from down below instantly reveals the shooter's position to those on the higher ground. Unlike the norm, um, Agent Hiura's strategy is to fight while purposely drawing attention to her sniping. So they had a strategy prepared just in case they warped into poor starting positions. That, that was pretty smart. In this case, uh, Sua and Katori squads would want a, a route that um, keeps them keeps them out of her, uh, out of her view. But along that route, Captain Nasu's birdcage uh, awaits them. Ooh. Well, they're defending against that pretty well. Uh, let's see. These shots are as annoying as ever. She's um, reading our moves perfectly, and Katori squad's awful quiet, kind of fishy. Yeah, it's like Katori's got no presence at all. Are they not feeling it today? They, uh, it doesn't seem like they're feeling it, Mr. Krabs. Uh, they do seem unmotivated. We can't get near Nasu Squad, but what do you think, Ro uh, Rokuro? Personally, I just um, charge in with a shield up, or is that what Sua Squad or is that what Sua Squad wants? Hang on, let's not be so hasty. Uh, Hana, can you bring up the 3D map of the area? Sure. How many times are you gonna check the map? Uh, just after round seven, the previous match uh, ended daytime division. Ooh, we got some unfinished drawings up here. This is, I like when we kind of, I love when we see this kind of stuff. I guess Daisuke didn't finish this in time. <laughs> uh, that's why I told you not to charge in uh, blindly. Like, like uh, that's why I told you not to charge in blindly like that. See what happens? Uh, it's fine. We ended with a tie, right? If we maneuvered with a little more caution near the end, uh, we could have scored additional points against Sua Squad. Relax, Rokun. We're only one point ahead of Sua Squad now. If we uh, hope to break into the top tier, uh, they're our main rivals. I'm just saying, think ahead a little. Fine. This next match is the final one, so I'll follow your commands, Rokuro. Uh, I won't go rogue on you. Only do whatever you say, Kay. What? Come on, will you go? All I'm asking is that you quit being so careless. It's it's a bad habit of yours. Yeah, well, maybe I can't tell the difference between careless and careful, so. I'll just follow the careful strategy you come up with. That's good enough, right? <laughs> um, keep pursuing Nasa Squad and attack them alongside Sua Squad. And Yoko, just watch out for another faint from Sua Squad. Got it. Captain Nasu is intent on keeping out of range, so Sua and Katori squads are pushing her west. Is Sua Squad planning to keep um, to explain a sweep around from the south? Perhaps they're wary of Katori Squad to the north. Why won't you take the lead, Katori? Uh, offense is kind of your trademark. It's the final match. This is it. How um, how the top tier match end? Susanari uh, won reached thirty points earlier, so that's our bare minimum, or maybe more, depending on how Yuma Squad did. Another four points or five? Damn it! I took charge in this match, and the outcome decides whether or not we're back in the top tier. It's not like our win-loss record is worse than Nasu squads or Katori squads. We can do it. We can. Sayo, Katori squad is coming. Roger, marking your target. Viper, here it comes. Is it a bird? Is it a bird cage coming from all angles, or focus shots meant to shatter shields? They're focused. Ooh! Oh! Whoa, Agent Wakamura has bailed out. That had to be a meteor, right? Damn straight it was. A trap set up while retreating. Yes, she meant she left a meteor behind. A shot like that can't be controlled or detonated once the user has moved a certain distance away. But by using other bullets or um, a wire, they can detonate it from afar. That was some sneaky shit right there. Agent Hira's uh, precise sniping also served to draw attention away from that meteor that was left behind. Jeez, Rokuro, what do I do now? Uh, yo, Rokuro, in the end, I gotta, I always gotta do things my way. Yoko, what about that trigger that Rokuro had you equip? Don't want to use that in a losing battle like this one. I thought you were intent on following Rokuro's commands to the letter. Nah, you're right, but ugh, this pisses me off. Oh, man. So, it looks like we got one more month of, uh, um, of B 
B-Rank Wars, at least I'm hoping this is gonna, next chapter is gonna be the last chapter of B-Rank Wars. Uh, as much as, you know, as much as I like these, as I love, you know, the B-Rank the B Wars and all this shit, we've been in this shit forever, man. I wanna just move the fuck on. I wanna know if I'm the only one that feels that way. I thought, like, I feel like we got trolled last chapter. I really do, because I thought we were done and we were gonna move the fuck on, but I guess not. And I guess we have to wait and uh, ultimately wait until, I swear to God, if we have to wait until September, I'm going to be really goddamn annoyed. I swear to fucking God. I, I will only deal with, the, I swear. L let me reward it this way. By chapter 200, we better be done with B-Rank Wars. I, w I can only ta take so much more of the B-Rank Wars. I really can't, Daisuke. Seriously. I l again, I like the B-Rank Wars. I love the strategy and shit, but... Motherfucker, I just want to move on! God! Uh, but I'm really... But, again, we got some good strategy going on here. And I love that we got some unfinished work here, too. I love it. Daisuke, I love your unfinished work. It is great. Your unfinished art is even amazing. So, it, and this... Again, this better be the final one because this shit says the next... This match is the final one. So, seriously... Um, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, what you guys think, and remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. If you love what I'm doing, I want to help keep this, uh, channel alive so I can keep bringing you more World Trigger content. There's a few ways you could do that. You can donate to my Cash App, PayPal, Patreon, GoFundMe, purchase something on my Amazon wishlist, all that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow me on, uh, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, friend me on PlayStation Network, that's in the description box below as well. Until next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye!